if you talk to anyone, most people anywhere around the world, they're dealing with something that has to do with forgiveness. Forgiveness starts in people's hearts, but it uh, soon spills out into their relationships and then interrelationships among people. It can really influence us at, at every level. Ukraine is under attack by land, sea, and air. Brutal killings carried out by Russian forces. Possible war crimes committed by Vladimir Putin's army. Vladimirish Putin! I know that those Russian people are precisely those people that I knew before. Some of them were friends, and yet they either involved in this war and support this war, or they try not to, to think about what's going on. So how can I forgive them? This might be the most cost-effective, ambitious, and impactful forgiveness project that has ever taken place. South Africa's worst violence since apartheid. More than a year into an invasion in Ukraine, Vladimir Putin's government is digging in for a multi-year conflict. There is a science of forgiveness that is quite well developed now, and we're starting to uh, develop a real body of knowledge about how to help people forgive. Forgiveness is close to my heart. I really experienced a personal time in which my mother was murdered and forgiveness meant a lot to me personally. There have been many studies of, of REACH forgiveness showing that in, in a number of different contexts and settings it is effective. REACH is an acronym. These are steps to emotional forgiveness. So R, recall the hurt. People can't forgive if they don't admit that they've been hurt. B, empathize with the offender. A, the altruistic offer, gift of, of forgiveness. Forgiveness is an altruistic gift. It's not dependent on the person saying sorry, and in giving it, I myself receive a gift. C, commit to forgive, and then H, hold on to the forgiveness during times where those difficult emotions return. The benefits of forgiveness are huge. Forgiveness has been found to be related to physical health, psychological health, also spiritual health, so it's pretty crucial for people's overall well-being. Forgiving lowers the amount of cortisol in people's blood. It affects every system in their body, from the size of their brain, to their sexual functioning, to the cardiovascular risk, the immune system. And so it really helps the person physically. At each site, the participants in the study were randomized to either uh, receive the forgiveness workbook immediately or to receive it after some delay. I look at this workbook as being a way to introduce people to what forgiveness is, get them to think about it in terms of a hurt that they are trying to work through. Forgiveness is two separate things. One is a decision about how I intend to treat someone who's harmed me or offended me. 
I would call that decisional forgiveness. You make a decision that you're not gonna retaliate, you're not gonna make a, take vengeance, and how you're gonna act in the future towards the person that offended you. The other type of forgiveness is called emotional forgiveness. It is an emotional change in which I experience different feelings toward a person, such as empathy for the person, or compassion, or even love. Within the workbook, they assess themselves at the beginning and they assess themselves at the end. They can show themselves that this is really helping them so that they get the sense that, oh, I can apply this again and again. What really got to me was to see how approachable it was. We implemented it with two different populations. One was with war survivors, uh, but I also wanted to implement it with college students to make sure that we have different populations that could benefit. Two weeks later, the group had improved quite substantially with respect to their, their forgiveness of the offense. We also showed that substantial depression and anxiety was eased and people's measures of flourishing were much better. I heard from uh, some families, um, they might not even can sit down to have dinner together due to conflict. After they have completed the study, they came to me and say thank you. It was two weeks of uh, intense study, learning about yourself, studying about the essence of forgiveness. And uh, we found out that many people found comfort and psychologically they felt better. Some people ask us, uh, so if we forgive, uh, does, does that mean we have to reconcile with the other person? The answer is no. Forgiveness is quite distinct from reconciling or excusing the action or not demanding justice, one can pursue a just outcome and still forgive, still hope for the ultimate good of the offender. The time for the healing of the wounds has come. Nelson Mandela is an extraordinary example of forgiveness. One of the things that is difficult for me to comprehend is that we spent such a long time here. There's Mr. Mandela, Mr. Nelson Mandela, a free man. If you think of 27 years in prison, and you are released, and you do not seek vengeance on your captors, your oppressors, and you choose to forgive them and invite them into a dialogue of rebuilding a nation, that, that takes a lot of forgiveness. Forgiveness is in fact an important public health issue. And I think the ongoing struggles in South Africa show that forgiveness is not something that needs to just occur once and it's done, but it, it is an ongoing work to create a, a forgiving society. I worried about the situation continuous for a long, long time. But more problem for me that people who stay in Germany, uh, Ukraine, and who stay in Ukraine, uh, the, uh, they real hate in Russian people. I have to switch off my emotions because when I think about um, face of uh, 13 years old girl from my church whom I heard so many times when she was quoting Bible verses, how innocent she was. And then just she was killed, um, she and her mother in Bucha here near Kiev. In Bucha, more than a thousand bodies buried in mass graves Dozens, if not more, were tortured before they were killed. I have to admit that it will be very, very hard to forgive. 
in this generation. But I, I also feel privileged because of this uh, research project. So I'm almost constantly compare what I learned during this research about forgiveness. Some of the big questions that future research really needs to tackle are the persistence of uh, these, these effects. We need more knowledge about duration, about frequency, so that we can target interventions specifically for different populations. This is uh, probably the most important question. Is it enough? Is it enough for this uh, level of uh, offense? It's real hope for me that my family uh, can uh, stay a normal people who can uh, forgive. I hope uh, we, we can stop this war and we can build a new relationship with, uh, with Russia, with Russian people. Forgiveness is hard and uh, life is hard. And, and forgiveness is part of that, how do I deal with this dark underbelly of life in a way that is healthy Forgiveness is something that people can learn to be better at as they, as they try to do it. As human persons, we are created for and called to love others. We inevitably and unfortunately do harm to, to one another. We need a path back. Forgiveness is part of what it means to flourish.